exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. Okay, a lot of people excited about the holiday weekend, right. but we are going to have to play, pay close attention, be alert. Yes, we are going to have to be alert. And you know, it's already one thing when you're talking about severe weather. It's another thing when it's coming in during the overnight hours. That just makes it even more dangerous, more hazardous. So uh, let's get you caught up here tomorrow. Most of your Saturday will be dry. So if you have Saturday plans, really for the most part, things look just fine. Now we could start to see some thunderstorms off to the west and southwest of the metro, primarily after 10 o'clock in the evening. So again, daytime hours, you're looking okay. Storms start to develop late in the evening tomorrow. The bigger issue comes in mainly, I'd say, after midnight. So we're heading into our early Sunday morning. That's when severe thunderstorms are looking likely. Heavy rainfall as well into our early morning hours, primarily before 5 a.m. So, you know, I'm going to say it. Make sure you have multiple ways to get alerts because those storms rolling in could have some damaging wind gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour late tomorrow night. For right now, though, Things are great outside. We're looking over the plaza. It'll be a nice evening to be out on the plaza. 74 is our current temperature. We have a northwest wind gusting near 20 miles an hour. It's bringing in some of that drier air, so it feels so nice outside. 77 in Lee Summit, 76 for Olathe, 81 in Belton. So 70s and low 80s depends on where you live. There's a cold front moving through, and that's why Sedalia, you're still right along that front. So yesterday you're at 86 degrees, and the rest of the area, we're hanging out in those low to mid 70s. We're also mainly dry as well. We're seeing a few showers and thunderstorms that are trying to pop up more so into central Missouri. For the most part, going through your evening, we're going to keep that weather dry. We'll continue to move the clouds out as well. Low 70s by 8 o'clock, mid 60s at 10. So again, beautiful, calm weather here for your evening plans. By tomorrow morning, with that drier air, we're going to get down into the low 50s. So we'll have a cool start to your Saturday. You might want a sweatshirt or a light jacket if you're going to be out early in the morning. From there, it's beautiful midday, 72, mostly sunny, upper 70s going through the afternoon. Daytime hours are looking dry and future scan shows more of the same going from lunchtime towards 6 p.m. Mainly dry conditions here the later in the evening that we go. So between 6 p.m. and heading towards about 10, we'll start seeing those thunderstorms off to the west and southwest. Now watch as we go from about 10 p.m. to 1 o'clock in the morning early on your Sunday. This is how radar could look. So we could have a large area of thunderstorms organizing. We have to keep an eye on any storms that are by themselves as well. Those storms have that higher potential of rotating. So we'll be monitoring for that. If we do see a big cluster of storms like you see here, that could produce that greater threat for damaging wind gusts. So here's a look at 4 o'clock in the morning early on Sunday. Storms continuing for a few more hours there. That round tapers off. We could see potentially a little bit of development heading into Sunday afternoon, but it's more so late tomorrow night. 11 p.m. through 5 o'clock in the morning early on your Sunday. We have that medium threat for the metro area. We've got that likely threat just off to the southwest for you in Ottawa, Paola, Lacine, Butler, and Garnett. 60 to 70, I should say, plus mile an hour wind gusts. Could see some very strong wind gusts if those storms form into a line. We're also monitoring that flash flooding threat, and there could be a few of those brief spin up tornadoes in the mix as well. So make sure you're staying updated on the forecast. Of course, we'll keep you updated here at KBC on uh, 9 News here during our newscast as well. Looking ahead over the next nine days. So on Sunday, we've got that alert day again, primarily for the early morning hours, damaging wind gusts, 60 to 70 plus, as I mentioned. Flash flooding, a few tornadoes, a possibility. Thankfully, on Memorial Day, our weather should be quieter. Sunshine, 60s in the morning, 70s for the afternoon, low humidity, beautiful weather for Memorial Day. We do warm back up to near 80 degrees by the middle of next week.